Hello everybody, welcome to our Tuesday uh, Reflection. A warm welcome to everybody who is watching me. It's a glorious day. We thank the Lord for being alive. It is a great thing to be alive. And so we need to thank God and give Him praise for the gift of life. That we are alive and we are well and healthy. So I welcome everybody who is watching me or viewing me today. If you are not a member of my church, I want to encourage you. I want to specially invite you to come and be part of our lovely family. We have a lovely bunch of people in the church. If you come, you will find friendship. You will be happy. You will begin to have a new life and and a glorious life. People will begin to help you. People will advise you. People will be with you on your newfound journey. So I want to specially invite you to our church. I have a surprise for you when you come and you will not be disappointed. When you come, your life will never remain the same again. So come and join us when this uh, pandemic is over. And I, I, I assure you that very soon we will be allowed to go out and go about our business to do the things that we want to do. Our reflection today is about envy, <laughs> jealousy, hatred, and gift, a gift, a gift or a skill. Let's have some definitions here. When we talk about envy, what is envy? Envy is a desire to have a skill, quality, possession, or other desirable things belonging to someone else. That is envy. What about jealousy? Jealousy is showing resentment about someone's achievement, possession, or perceived advantages. That is what jealousy is. Now, let's bring our biblical text today. Proverbs chapter 18 verses 16. It says that a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Now, whenever you hear in the Old Testament or indeed the New Testament that a man is mentioned, it is, of course, Mr. and Mrs. Man. So it means male and female. The actual word used there is anthropos, which means people or humanity or a human being. So when you hear the word man in the Old Testament or in the New Testament, it stands for both male and female. So here we are told that a man's gift or a person's gift makes room for him. And that same gift will bring them before great men. I want to give you a few scenarios in scripture. I want to take you to Genesis chapter 4. There's a little story there about Cain and Abel. Abel was a shepherd. That was his gift. Cain, on the other hand, was a farmer. Now, these two people were twins. They, their father and mother was Adam and Eve, the first man and woman that was created. Cain was a farmer. Abel was a shepherd. That was their individual gift. But the point is, Cain did not value the gift that God has given him. So he began to be envious about his brother. When they went to offer an offering to God, Because of that feeling of jealousy, they both offered an offering to God. But Abel's offering was accepted by God. Cain's offering was rejected by God. Why? It was because Cain was envious of his brother's gift. As a result, both of them offered an offering. God accepted one of them, which was Abel. Cain's offering was rejected. Brothers and sisters, the condition of your heart is very important here. Because Abel's offering was was accepted by God, Cain began to hate his brother, which resulted in in Cain killing Abel. It starts with envy. Then it moves to jealousy. Then it comes down to hatred, which will ultimately lead to death. And you don't need to kill somebody physically. You can kill somebody in your heart. Let's move on to our second story about Joseph and his brothers. Joseph was a dreamer. He had a dream. When he explained that dream to his brothers, his brothers rebuked him. And eventually, 
sold him into slavery. <laughs> so this guy, his gift was having a dream. His gift, in fact, he had another gift which was to do with interpretation of dreams. When Joseph was sold into slavery, that gift he had as a dreamer, being a dreamer and being an interpreter of dreams, that gift brought him before Pharaoh, which ultimately made him the second most important person in Egypt. So Joseph's gift made room for him. The gift took him from the prison to the palace of Pharaoh. Now that same gift meant that he was able to interpret Pharaoh's dreams, which made him to become the prime minister of Egypt. Brothers and sisters, we are told in the Bible that a person's gift makes room for him. And that same gift brings him before kings and great men. What is your gift? I want to ask you, what is your gift? And how do you even go about identifying your gift? Well, it may interest you to know that a gift is something that you do tirelessly. If you want to know what your gift is, it is about the things that you do without thinking about it. A gift will be something that you are very skillful in. A gift will be something that you do without even thinking about it. And you do it very well. For some, it may be baking cakes. For some, it may be drawing. It may be architectural drawing. For some, it may be solving emotional and spiritual problem. Like myself, I am a clergy. I solve spiritual and emotional problems. For some, it may be driving. For some, it may be a, a being an inventor. Creativity. For some, it may be piloting. For some, it may be being a medical doctor, a nurse in hospital. The list can go on. But your gift is something. If you are doing anything that you hate doing, that is not your gift. But anything that you are doing that you love it so much, and you do that thing without even thinking about it, that is your gift. And if you are listening to me today, and you have something that you are able to do that gives you joy, that makes you very happy, something that if you do, you love doing it, that is your gift. So stop being jealous about somebody else's gift. Do not be jealous. Do not be envious. And don't hate people. Because God in his mercy has given everybody a gift. I have my gift. You have your gift. And if you are able to identify that gift, you will begin to stop being envious. You will stop being jealous. You will stop being hatred. Hating people. So brothers and sisters, we are told in the Bible today that a person's gift makes room for him. Your gift will make way for you. And that same gift will bring you before great men. It will bring you before king and queens. By the grace of God, I have been to Her Majesty Palace before. I went for a garden party. Why did I go for a garden party in the, in, in, in the royal family or Beckenham Palace? Because I am a chaplain to the air cadet. Because I was a chaplain to the air cadet, doing what I know how to do best, solving spiritual and emotional problems, I was one day approached by one of the counselors in that area. And he said, look, have you, I want to invite you to go to Beckenham Palace for garden party. I said, well, that's happy days. Why did that happen, brothers and sisters? That happened because I was busy looking after the cadets. I was busy solving spiritual and emotional problems. When I was busy doing that, someone else was observing what I was doing. As a result, that gift of solving emotional and spiritual problems took me to Her Majesty's Palace. And I went to see how that place looked. It looks very beautiful. The food is nice. But why am I saying all this? I'm saying all this because your gift will make room for you. Your skill will make room for you. Your ability will make room for you. So stop jealousy people. Stop the envy. Stop the hatred. And focus on the gift that God has given you. If you focus on that gift, 
That gift will make room for you. That gift can make you famous. The other example I can bring is uh, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton was very skillful in driving. He started with go-kart. And as a result of focusing on his gift, honing on on his gift, developing his, his skill, he, he is now six-time world champion. So brothers and sisters, you have your gift, I have my gift. Your gift will make room for you. My gift will make room for me and it will bring me before great men. So I want you to focus on the gift that God has given you. Focus on your gift today. You have your gift. God has given you a gift. He has given me a gift. Focus on that gift and pray to God and let God allow you to love that gift and make sure that you develop that gift to the point that it will make you somebody, to the point that it will make you successful, to the point that it will set you apart from your peers. That is the blessing from God. So today, God's message to you is that a man's gift makes room for him. And that gift brings him before kings and queens. That is the message of God to you today. You have a gift. Focus on that gift and stop being jealous. Stop being envious. Stop worrying about what somebody can do and what you can't do. That is not good. Focus on what God has given you and you can become somebody. You can become successful. Brothers and sisters, stop being jealous. Stop being envious. Stop the hatred because God has given you a gift. And if you focus on that gift, it will make room for you. It will make you so successful that it will blow your mind. Whether you are a Christian or not a Christian, God has given you a gift. Because you were created in the image of God and his likeness. So whether you like it or not, you are a child of God. It's just up to you to start coming to church and become part of us. Because we are a lovely family and if you start coming to church, your life will transform. You will become a very happy family, very happy individual. You will be very successful in every area of your life. As you focus on your gift, as you hone in on your gift, as you pay attention to the gift that God has given you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>